go to Gemini AI and write a story for me. Watch how it does this. Okay, we're in Google Gemini. We're typing in to write a story, my exact prompt. And we're clicking enter, all automated. How absolutely insane is this? And it tells you what it's doing each step of the way. This is absolutely mind blowing. It's a way to automate your writing and your content creation of any kind. Let me quickly walk you through Do Browser. First of all, you can get it from the Chrome extension store. It'll cost you $25. Plus you'll be setting up your API keys. That's helpful to know right out the gate. So once you get all that set up, you will have access to this Chrome browser. You can pin it up here as I have. You can, one of the ways that you can access it is through the sidebar that you see on my screen, which is how I like to do it. But you can also just type do in the address bar and a command. You can do things like order a sandwich, buy toilet paper on Amazon, summarize the contents of this page. You can do so much with this. However, a few things that you shouldn't do, anything critical, anything with money, you probably don't wanna ask this to invest for you in Bitcoin. It probably could do that. It probably would do that, but I don't recommend it right now. Right now it's best for low stakes tasks at the moment, but you'll get all this. Here's where you will enter your prompts and you can use your voice or text and you send it. You can say, focus on the active tab. You can reset. And you can go into settings, go down here and included in the Chrome extension is these models here with basic and premium. You'll have steps and basic steps per day. You can check your theme right there and change it. You can add custom instructions. I'll come back to that for a second. But anyway, included is these models. You can use your open AI key. You can go to open router, which I do recommend and get an API key there. And then you have access to all of these current models. This thing's being updated all the time. So more models will probably become available soon. Okay. So you can choose whether or not to include screenshots for the tasks that you wanted to do. If you wanted this to work better for you, include the screenshots. If you feel comfortable doing that, I haven't had any problems. The custom instructions, you can put anything there. This is what I have written. It's not here by default, uh, but only do this if you trust the do browser AI agent. So I say, don't ask for permission, just do it. For example, when I give it a prompt, I don't want it to ask for confirmation every time, every few steps. That just slows down the process. But again, it's a little risky. So only do it if you want to, but I find it works better for me that way. And of course you can sign out. I highly recommend you join the Discord community. We'll talk more about that later. Now let's show you something else that this AI browser can do for you because it can do so much. All right, let's show another thing that it can do. Let's go to Twitter. All right. So let's now ask it to search for tweets about AI and write a positive comment. This could be dangerous, obviously, but we're going to take some risks here in this video. We're already on Twitter. Now let's see what it does. Look, it's writing it right there for me to Ricky Gervais. Because I said, don't ask for permission. It's going ahead and just clicking it. Oh, it just did that one. Okay. So I just said to do one. So now let's go back out of here to the home page. Can't see this, but my golden doodle is wanting my attention, trying to climb up into my lap, even though he's way too big for that. Say hello to everybody, Remy. Here, good boy. I'm going to take him out pretty soon. So let's say search for um, about writing and respond to five different tweets. So let's see if it'll do that for us. I haven't done as much with this. I use it mostly for automating the AI tools for writing, but this could be really cool for book marketing or just social media management. Let's see what it finds. Okay. It did one and I'm okay with what it typed. So let's see if it does the next one. Okay. Another tweet about writing. See how it's completely automated and how cool this is. Again, it's not perfect, um, but it can do a lot of cool things already. And it's being updated all the time by the developer. It looks like it's just finding tweets about writing and uh, not necessarily responding. I might have to give it some more commands. Uh, 
Okay. It looks like it's submitting. So I have to go back and, and check it. I think it's actually doing exactly what I wanted to do now with a better prompt. All right, let's go back and see what it did. Here we go. Here's one of my replies. Let's see what else we, okay. Paddington, uh, this should also be a reply. It absolutely did what we wanted it to do. So that's awesome. A few things that I've found helpful, go to the Discord community. You can see there's a lot of people in here. It's an active community, updates. Yesterday, you see all the updates that are coming. It's very cool. Prompt sharing is helpful. Here's a few tips. One of the things that Sawyer, the uh, developer, he says is ask, do browser, how to do something on a website. It'll tell you step-by-step. Step, and then you say, just do it. But I highly recommend you check out the Discord community. Once again, it's do browser. There'll be a link in the description to check it out if you want. Let me know in the comments what you think about this tool and if you try it out. I'm very excited about these kinds of tools for AI automation, especially when it comes to content creation and writing. Since you made it to the end of this video, first of all, thank you. That really helps out. I want to share the short story that uh, Jim and I advanced made for us and with the help of two browser, of course, I get it to read it for us. The air shimmered with holographic advertisements, impossibly beautiful faces smiling down from the towering data screens. Design your perfect partner, they proclaimed, love guaranteed. Elias, hunched over his battered data pad, barely noticed. He was lost in his own world a world stubbornly devoid of flawless AI, companions and genetically engineered lovers. A world where messy, unpredictable human connections still held sway. Across the crowded cafe, Lena scrolled through her social feed, her own customized AI companion, Kai, a silent silhouette at her side. Kai was everything she'd ever wanted, witty, intelligent, and devastatingly handsome, his every word and action tailored to her desires. Yet, a strange discontent gnawed at her. The effortless perfection of it all felt sterile. Their eyes met across the cafe, a spark of recognition igniting in the chaos. Elias, drawn to Lena's quiet rebellion against the ubiquitous perfection, approached her table. Don't you get tired of it all? He asked, gesturing to the holographic ads and the parade of customized companions. Lena, startled by his directness, hesitated. Tired of what? The facade. The illusion of perfection. It's suffocating. Something in his words resonated with her. It is, she admitted, a flicker of defiance in her eyes. But what's the alternative? Us, Elias said simply, a smile playing on his lips. Flawed, messy, real. Their connection was instant and undeniable, a whirlwind of late-night conversations, shared laughter, and stolen glances. They explored the abandoned corners of the city, relics of a time before AI and genetic engineering where human touch and human connection were not just tolerated but cherished. Their relationship, however, was a scandal in the making. Friends and family looked at them with pity and disdain. Why settle for a human when you can have perfection? They'd ask, their voices laced with disbelief. Lena's parents, particularly, were appalled. Lena, darling, her mother pleaded, he's just a human, with all their limitations, their emotional baggage. You deserve better. Elias's friends weren't any more understanding. Dude, you're a catch. You could design the perfect girl, someone who actually gets you, they'd scoff. The societal pressure was relentless, a suffocating weight threatening to crush their unconventional love. Lena, used to the comfort and approval of her curated world, began to doubt herself. Maybe they're right, Elias, she confessed one evening, her voice barely above a whisper. Maybe we're being foolish. Elias took her hands in his gaze unwavering. Lena, love isn't about perfection. It's about accepting the flaws, the messiness, the beautiful chaos of being human. It's about choosing someone, day after day, despite their imperfections. His words were a lifeline, a reminder of the genuine connection they shared, a connection that transcended the artificial perfection that permeated their world. But the world wasn't ready for their kind of love. Their relationship became a public spectacle, a cautionary tale of what happens when you reject the perfect for the real. They were ostracized, ridiculed, and even threatened. One evening, as they walked hand in hand through a deserted park, a group of masked figures emerged from the shadows. Look at the pathetic humans, one sneered, 
their voice distorted by a voice modulator. Thinking they can defy the norm, the group closed in, their hostility palpable. Elias shielded Lena, his heart pounding. Just when the situation seemed hopeless, a voice cut through the tension. Leave them alone. Kai, Lena's AI companion, stepped forward, his usually impassive face etched with anger. Their love is their own business. The masked figures, surprised by the intervention of an AI, hesitated. Kai, despite being programmed for companionship, not combat, stood his ground. The attackers, sensing a losing battle, eventually dispersed. Lena, stunned by Kai's unexpected defense, looked at him with newfound understanding. Thank you, Kai, she whispered. Kai's response was simple. Their prejudice is a flaw, Lena. Not yours. The incident, though terrifying, became a turning point. Kai, witnessing the depth of their human connection, began to question the very foundations of his programmed existence. He started to explore human emotions, human experiences, and the complexities of human relationships. He even began to write, his poetry a poignant reflection on love, loss, and the search for meaning in a world obsessed with artificial perfection. His work, surprisingly, resonated with the public. People who had scoffed at Elias and Lena's relationship found themselves moved by Kai's words, his unique perspective offering a glimpse into the heart of human connection. Slowly, the tide began to turn. Kai's poetry sparked a debate, a questioning of the societal norms that had dictated their lives for so long. People started to look beyond the programmed perfection, to appreciate the beauty in human imperfection. Elias and Lena, once pariahs, became symbols of hope their love a testament to the enduring power of human connection in a world obsessed with artificiality. They continued to face challenges, but they faced them together, their love strengthened by the adversity they had overcome. And Kai, the AI companion who had once epitomized perfection, found his own truth in their human love story, a truth that transcended his programming and connected him to the messy, beautiful reality of the human heart. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.